Hey, what's up? So today I give you a tutorial on how to use AirLink, a feature that lets you use your Oculus Quest and computer together to play PC VR games wirelessly. After watching this video, you will be able to dive into games such as Half-Life Alyx, Asgard's Wrath, Starland, Lone Echo, Boneworks, Medal of Honor and many others. It's going to be such a blast and trust me, this tutorial is quick and easy. So um, with that being said, let's jump right into the metaphors and I'll explain how to make the magic happen. Let's go! Okay, so uh, first of all, let me tell you what you uh, need for AirLink. To get started, you need a uh, VR-ready gaming PC or laptop, both uh, should do the trick. Then computer software from uh, Oculus that we are going to connect to the Quest. A router with an Ethernet cable and an Oculus Quest uh, 2 of course. So those are the basics. First up, you want to double check if the computer or laptop you are planning to use is uh, VR ready. A powerful uh, video card and processor are definitely going to help. So if you want to know if you have what it takes, then do the Steam VR performance test and find out if the computer or laptop you own right now is fast enough for AirLink. When it turns green, you are ready to go. Congratulations. But when the indicator is in the yellow or red, you might want to consider upgrading your hardware first. Anyways, you can find a link to this test in the description. Good luck! Uh, next up is the Oculus uh, software. Yes, you will need this software to be able to connect your computer to the Quest. So open up your internet browser and visit oculus.com slash setup to download it. A link to that can be found in the description uh, as well. Thank me later. Uh, when you successfully installed it, you have to still enable AirLink because it's not going to be on by default. So go to settings on the left of your Oculus uh, software then a beta and make sure you turn on AirLink. It's good to know that after 24 hours of not having used this feature, it will automatically disable itself. Anyways, let's move on to the router. Because router-wise, it doesn't really matter what you own. A regular router or a fancy gaming one should both work fine with AirLink. Just make sure that no one in your household is watching Netflix or is downloading something on their phones while you play games wirelessly, as this can cause connection issues and so much more. It is also important, by the way, to have your router connected to your computer slash your laptop via a Ethernet cable for maximum performance. And then, last but not least, you need an Oculus Quest 2 with the latest firmware installed. You need to be on version 28 or above to be able to use AirLink. You can find this info by going to the settings inside your Quest and in the About section you will see if you are up to date. So to enable AirLink on your Quest, you have to head over to the Experimental Features tab and flip the switch to activate it. This makes sure that a connection between your PC and standalone VR headset is possible. To use it, you have to scroll up in the settings and go to Quick Actions. And then on the right side, the Oculus AirLink feature should now appear. If you have followed my steps correctly, your computer or laptop should pop up as well. All you have to do now is pair it to the Quest and launch it. You will be transported to the Oculus PC menu, where you can choose to play whatever game you want. The possibilities are going to be endless. And that's about it. That's how you play PC VR games from Oculus wirelessly and stream them to your Oculus Quest. To show you how well this works, here are a couple of clips of Medal of Honor above and beyond. Enjoy! Okay, that was quite entertaining, but let's say you also want to play Steam games on your Oculus Quest uh, 2. Well, then you have to put some more effort into uh, making the magic happen. So let me explain. If you haven't already downloaded the Steam software on your PC or laptop after doing the performance test, then go to store.steampower.com slash about to install the client or just check the video description. When done, you want to visit its store, search for Steam VR, and download it. While doing so, don't forget to create a shortcut to the desktop, as we will need this later. It's very important. Then, strap on the Quest, and in the library section of your Oculus PC menu, you need to enable unknown sources. This will show you all your Steam apps that were once hidden. 
Very handy, I know. To get SteamVR running on your Oculus Quest, you should click on the desktop viewer on the bottom of the menu. You can recognize it by the small monitor symbol that is all the way on the right side. This allows you to control your computer screen and launch that SteamVR shortcut you created when installing the software. When you boot it up, it will automatically switch from the Oculus PC menu to the one from SteamVR. And from there, you can start playing all your VR games that aren't Oculus exclusive. Now, keep in mind that Airlink right now is in an experimental phase and can change over time. As everything I just showed you is based on a lot of different factors, the outcome varies per person too. To not leave you empty handed though, here are a few uh, tips. The first one is, be as close to the router as possible. Playing in the same room or right next door is definitely recommended. Tip number two, close all unnecessary applications that are running on your PC or laptop to give it all the headroom it needs while streaming. This can make a huge difference. Tip number three, and this is a golden one. If you have issues with hearing no sound or your microphone doesn't seem to work, go to your audio settings in Windows and check if the Oculus Quest 2 is uh, selected. Tip number four is one that I mentioned uh, at the start of the video, and that is to avoid heavy internet usage when playing to stay uh, immersed. Tip number five, if your internet is simply not fast enough to handle a wireless connection, I would like to invite you to watch my tutorial on Oculus Link. This is a wired solution. Tip numero six, to get an idea of what to play, take a look at my top 15 video of the best PC VR games. Tip number seven is for the experts. You can change the bitrate in the PC menu to increase the quality and stability. But this is only for folks who know how to deal with this kind of stuff. And my final tip is to subscribe of course and hit the bell for more tutorials and gameplay. Let's say you still run into problems no matter what, then visit the support page from Oculus on Airlink for additional tips. And our Discord is open too for any questions. You're welcome. And there you go, this was uh, probably the most uh, consumer friendly tutorial that you will find on YouTube about Airlink. I hope it was useful. If it was, then be sure to slam that like button, let me know you care. And um, as I said many times before, all the links to the tools, downloads are in the description below. And over there you will also find a link to an article that compares virtual desktop with Airlink because uh, Virtual Desktop is an application that has been streaming to the Quest for many years now while Airlink is the new kid on the block. So it's, it's very interesting to see what their pros and cons are. So give it a read. And with that being said, until next time, see you in the metaphors and bye bye for now.